Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 7. So what happened in the previous episode, we had a really juicy moment with Leonard and Penny when Penny proposed to Leonard but she was drunk and upset all over the place basically and Leonard didn't say yes or no, he just said um. So Penny was like did you just say um? <laughs> so it was tricky situation, weird situation. And then at the end, Leonard had conversation with Sheldon and he was like, I'm not sure why I didn't say yes. So who knows where this is gonna take both of them. That's what I wanna find out. So less talking guys, let's get started. You need to let it go, Sheldon. Hey, you work tirelessly for someone and this is what you get. Oh my God, they're just making you use your vacation days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they're trying to send Sheldon on vacation again. Vacation. <laughs> okay, listen, but I'm a little distracted right now. Oh, this again? So Penny proposed, you didn't say yes, and now you think you may have lost your love forever how does this compare to me being forced to relax for a few days <laughs> it's two completely it different situations <laughs> i'm gonna go talk to penny i'm gonna go inside put on my coziest pajamas curl up with a good book and wait for this nightmare to be over sheldon is a freaking workaholic penny <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's all right Look, if you Ooh. want to break up, just say it. Okay, We're gonna talk no, no, about no, no, it. I take it back. Don't say it. Just, just uh, hate me, but stay with me. It worked for my parents. <laughs> I don't want to break up with you. So it's cool if I cry a little. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're just happy. You did the right thing last night. I was a mess. Just yeah. frustrated because my career is going nowhere. Look, I get it. And, and I want you to know that I support whatever you want to do. If I really want this acting thing to work, I need to focus all my energy on it. And to do that, I should quit waitressing at the Cheesecake Factory. Wow. That, that's, that's a big step. step. Before making any rash. I already decision. quit. And I support you. <laughs> Take me to work with you. No, you're on vacation. <laughs> Please. He's like a big kid. Do you really think there's gonna be a breakthrough without you there to do it? No, I was just tricking you. <laughs> Leonard, wait! Take me with you! No! <laughs> Shut and stay! But I said stay! <laughs> He's not a dog! I'm going to work. Do not follow me. <laughs> He's like, run! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Easter egg! Oh god! <laughs> she appeared out of nowhere! Oh, I need a little help. I accidentally destroyed one of Howard's comic books this morning and I was hoping I could replace it. Batman got his ass kicked by my curling iron. <laughs> Do you have this one? Uh, well, it's it's pretty rare. Can you give me a few days to track it down? Uh, I was kind of hoping to get it before Howie comes home from work. Uh, what's the hurry? Well, he's always saying I should be more careful with my curling iron and it seems like a dangerous precedent to let him think he can be right. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't make any promises. You know, I do work at a pharmaceutical company. If you can make this happen today, I can hook you up with anxiety medication, antidepressants. Really? Do you have any of these? Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of medicine. Hey, what brings you guys here? Uh, we were just on our way to lunch and wanted to see if you'd like to join. Why? Because Sheldon's not here this week and you don't think I have any other options? I'm <laughs> just kidding, I'll get my purse. <laughs> I didn't know you had any company. That's okay. Uh, Bert, this is Howard and Rajesh. Guys, this is Bert. Anyway, I wanted to show you this tourmalinated quartz that we got in the lab. Aww. This is so pretty. You know what uh, geologists and Bon Jovi have in common? You're both in the rock? Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you forgot your quartz. It's okay. I want you to have it. Oh, that's Bye. cute. Yeah, he's nice because he likes you. Yeah, what? flirting. No, he present. He brought you a pretty rock. So? He does that every day. Oh. You know, if you'd rather skip lunch and hang out with your boyfriend, Bert, it's totally okay. <laughs> he's not my boyfriend. Are you sure? He's tall, pale, and awkward. That sounds like your type. <laughs> <laughs> Should someone as lonely as you really be making fun of me? Yeah, grow up, Howard. God. My drop. Maybe the problem is he thinks you're available. Does he know you're dating Sheldon? And does Sheldon know you're dating Sheldon? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you dating? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Amy. You tell him. Oh, he's oh, still there. Sheldon? Hello. You okay? I'm on vacation. What do you think? <laughs> Why are you sitting in the stairwell? Leonard told me to stay. Well, good boy. 
<laughs> Where are you going? Oh, a ton of errands to run. I need to make copies of my headshot, send them off to agents, and uh, sign up for a new acting class. And... Mm. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take him with you. He has nothing else you to do. Really? <laughs> come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they have one at Capital Comics. Oh, it's great. No, it's not. I hate that place. The guy who owns it is a jerk. So he's making me feel bad about myself. Oh, that's terrible. What's the address? <laughs> you know, Second friend, you that uh, tell me the right. address. But I don't want you to close up. I want you lose business. Sorry, that was me. Penny really quit the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah, she already thinks I don't support this. So if I call, it might look like I'm checking up on her. Well, do you support this? Of course I do. She's a great actress. I'm proud she's taking this risk. That's nice. You bought that? Great. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't support that at all. Actually, I'm at the Cheesecake Factory. You got your job back. That is great news. That you right, did, Leonard. Literally... You did. I'm just returning my uniform. And I support you. I think we're gonna have a conversation Before we begin, later. Start, take a deep, relaxing breath in through your nose. Yeah, let's all relax. And let it out. Wow, didn't see that coming. That's how breathing works, Sheldon. Do you think quitting my job was a mistake? Why do you ask? Because Leonard just pissed me off. Am I being an idiot or not? I don't think you are. Really? The best way to achieve a goal is to devote 100% of your time and energy to it. Why can't Leonard understand it? Because he's not like us, Penny. We're dreamers. <laughs> Aww. Ooh. Hey. There he Hello, is again. Bert. Before you say anything else, I, I have a boyfriend. You thought I was going to ask you to go with me to the mineral show. Weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't want to go out with me because I have an off-putting personality. My boyfriend has an off-putting personality, too. Like, way worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Sheldon, and you probably know him. I know I'm a monster. No, Aww. Bert, come on. I'd love to go to the mineral show with you. Sweet. It's a date. <laughs> no, it's not. Too late. <laughs> Ooh, that's looking like a fancy place. Hey, Stuart. Jesse. Haven't seen Ooh, you Ooh, it's uh. Look how great you've gotten. He was in exactly Drink and Josh, well. right? Well, oh talking about your God, skin. haven't seen him in ages. But, uh, my friend here needs a comic book. Oh, and she went into your store by mistake. Oh yeah, yeah, I got this right over here. Leaving you sweatpants? <laughs> oh, the betray! The betray! Can I offer you a coffee? Espresso? Latte? No thanks. How about you, Stu? Mocha? Scone? Directions to the nearest soup kitchen? I don't think I like the way you're treating my friend. Sorry. Aww. You want the book or not? Not from you. Let's go, Stuart. You may have a successful business and the kind of pink complexion that comes with good nutrition, but I have something more important. What's that? Friendship. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, trading a heartbeat for all this. One day it will happen, Stuart. So what am I supposed to do now? Prepare your uterus for his gigantic offspring. <laughs> no, oh dear. I'm gonna have to tell him the truth that even if I didn't have a boyfriend, I wouldn't be interested in him. Oh, poor Bert. <laughs> that guy's got a rough afternoon ahead of him. Well, how would you want a girl to tell you she wasn't interested? Look me in the eye and say, I was wrong, I love you. Oh, she could touch no. me in a special way. <laughs> That's how you reject the guy. I'm just gonna go find him and, and be brutally honest. Oh, no, don't. He'd be so upset. He'd probably climb up the Empire State Building and start swatting at planes. <laughs> you want us to talk to him? Really? You would do that? Sure. Oh, we no, I wouldn't we trust him those with guys. We're gonna say Thank something Let's go. weird. So we tell him she's a lesbian. Of course we tell him she's a lesbian. There it is. Literally, just tell him the truth. <laughs> Easy peasy. Very good. Now let's try Warrior 2. I've read that there are great yogis who have such mastery over their bodies, they can draw water in through their genitals. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to get to do that today. <laughs> On the next lesson. Too bad. <laughs> Children <is> struggling. <laughs> How did she get you to do yoga? Well, to be honest, I thought she said Yoda. I'm helping him relax because unlike you, he supports me. How many times do I have to say it? I support you. Sheldon, take a break. Namaste. 
<laughs> if you support me, what was with that phone call? I'm not sure you should have quit. But if you care so much what I think, why didn't you ask me before you did it? Oh, so now I need your permission? Would you have asked me before you quit your job? Yes. I thought we were in the kind of relationship where we make decisions together. If I'm wrong, then maybe we need to talk about the kind of relationship we're actually in. Yeah, well, maybe we do. Well, I'm willing to if you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> because he's part of this Let relationship. <laughs> you, no, I'm as much a part of this relationship as you two. I think it's high time we put exactly. all our cards on the table. Are you two ever getting married? And if so, where will we all live? Have you thought about that? <laughs> are you all, uh, you're planning to no. live with them? Right, Don't what think are we so. Doing? If for some reason, we're planning a future where we both live with Sheldon forever. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck with him. Reckless, Can't get rid of him. Might be right, That's but I need it. To Despite what it says on her resume, she is no longer 22. <laughs> I am on your side. You keep saying you're on my side, but you don't act like it. He does that to me too. Why do we put up with it? <laughs> Two against one. Just because I couldn't do it doesn't mean you shouldn't, and I'm proud of you. Well, to celebrate this reconciliation, let's all share a milkshake. It's Kenny, <laughs> you'll need a straw. <laughs> You're back. Yes, I am. There's a few more things I want to say to you. Stuart Store is just fine, and he's a much nicer person than you are, and if you still have that comic, I'd like to buy it right now. <laughs> you want a latte while you wait? No, I don't want a latte. I want a cappuccino and a blueberry scone. <laughs> I only have chocolate chip. Well, that sounds even better. Thanks for coming to the Mineral and Rock show with me. <laughs> Payback. We're That's sorry, what you deserve. We karma. Really? Karma. Really? <laughs> when you turn, want to have you guys. Rock show. Rock show. Rock show. Rock show. It's going to be a long ride. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got butterflies. Don't get soft on me. Something Bob's coming out all day right trying to get something. What's going on? Hey, we're about to buy tickets for Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> Here is my answer. Seconds. I know the stress. <laughs> oh, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Every year I told you wear a diaper. And I told you I get diaper rash. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's live. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Do not stop refreshing your screen. Refresh, 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 I don't know, gonna get tickets. It's been 10 minutes. We're running out of time. To be cool? Yeah. <laughs> I did it up in the queue. Ah! And they say firefighters are the real heroes. <laughs> they still are. <laughs> oh, they only have Thursday and Sunday passes left. Really? Oh, Thursday's gone. Just Sunday left. Oh, Sunday's the word. Sunday's gone. D not Sunday. I love Sunday. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's over. So, that's it. Everything's sold out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. No, th 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 there's always WonderCon in Anaheim. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> this is really sad. And in a different way than it was 20 minutes ago. I can't believe we wasted all that time on our Hulk costumes. What, you're all going as the Hulk? Not the same Hulk. Ferrigno, <laughs> Banna, Norton, and Ruffalo. There's so many of them. We would have been the end. <laughs> I have the solution to our Comic-Con problem. We don't need them. I'm starting my own convention. <laughs> Buying scalp tickets is against the rules. If you get caught, you get banned from Comic-Con for life. You're gonna feel pretty silly when we're 80 years old and you have to drive me down there and then wait in the car for three days. <laughs> How do you know this isn't a sting operation set up by the Comic-Con police? Is the there a Comic-Con police? The people... Just come with us. You're not gonna make your own convention. You know, there was a time for some when reason I think he will. <laughs> one, you mark my words, I'm gonna rip that guy off. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, Sheldon. Yes, I think you I, can do I, that. I thought that your client, Robert Downey Jr., would be <laughs> perfect to appear on our first panel. Wouldn't, why are you saying no? You haven't even asked him yet. <laughs> you know, excuse me, but I sat through Iron Man 2. I believe he owes me two hours of his time. <laughs>
Oh, wow, you called all of those people crazy. Sheldon, buddy, I just don't think this is going to come together for you. You don't know that. I still have plenty of solid leads on this list. You know, no, wait, I need you to call Stan Lee, Leonard Nimoy, and Bill Nye the Science Guy. Legally, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> oh, and also Carrie Fisher. Did I hear she can be pretty nuts? I don't believe Leonard is spending hundreds of dollars on scalp tickets. Last week, you spent that on a little dress. Yeah, but those tickets only get him into Comic-Con. That dress gets me into anywhere I want. <laughs> Why can't they do something sensible like Sheldon and start their own comic book convention? Also, who wants to throw me out that window? <laughs> well, I know there's a nice hotel not far from here where they do afternoon tea. Oh, afternoon Ooh. tea. How sophisticated. Sounds good. If we're going to be fancy, I should probably put on clean underwear. Look who has clean underwear. No, we're going to stop at Target on the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not clean. Even at the Target or any Comic shops. <laughs> I am one step away from securing a huge guest for my convention. Does that step include chloroform and a roll of duct tape? <laughs> <laughs> that I will hope be necessary. Not. The voice of Darth Vader, the Lion King's dad, and FYI, the guy who says this is CNN. <laughs> How are you gonna get James Earl Jones? Earlier today, he tweeted that he's looking forward to going to his favorite sushi restaurant for dinner. That's where he'll be, and that's where I'm going, and, and that's where Darth Vader's gonna pour soy sauce on your head. Yeah, it's called stalking, Sheldon. I don't care. Please don't be creepy and go stalking this poor guy. Yeah. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> You're buying non-transferable tickets, and from a stranger, no less. You could be charged with petty theft. You think about that while I'm warning James Earl Jones about the danger of posting his location on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he got lucky this time. There are some weirdos out there. Any one of them. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, See? I'm just saying, we don't know who this guy is. What if he wants to steal our money or our kidneys or make a suit out of our skins? Does someone want to make clothes out of your skin. I don't know. Maybe because Doc doesn't show the stains? Well, uh, now you're making me wonder if we should have met him at a neutral location. Why do you think I told him to come to your place? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are safe, except Leonard and Sheldon. <laughs> sure oh, Amy, kids, we're in a tiara. That's so cute. I can't believe the waiter thought I was your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I see it. Should we leave? Well, there's a bar in the lobby. I could go for a drink. Oh, drinking in the afternoon, just like her mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Don't be creepy, guess. Sheldon. You like Star Wars. <laughs> you know, I've been in other movies. He knows but everything. You don't care He's about genius. Those. I have one thing to say to people like you. I like Star Wars too. <laughs> yeah, we can be friends. Care to join me? Woo! <laughs> Thank you. My friend Leonard said if I bothered you while you were eating, you'd think I was a creepy stalker. Well, you still are. Your so. friend Leonard sounds like a real weenie. <laughs> so I'm on a Comic Con message board, and there's a post from a guy where he says he got caught using someone else's badge. And Sheldon was right, he did get charged with petty theft. Guys, if I go to jail dressed as the human torch, that might send the wrong message. <laughs> <laughs> now they're rethinking this idea. Maybe this text a guy, tell him we changed our minds. Do it. Okay. We're officially not going to Comic Con. Yeah, I wouldn't we risk always it. Do this one time, instead of wimping out, let's be badasses. Okay, I'll be a badass, but only if you pinky swear to be one too. <laughs> No need, I'm breaking rules all the time. <laughs> like one. what? Drank my Pepto straight out of the bottle. Wow. <laughs> you know, when I first read the script for Empire Strikes Back and Darth Vader told Luke he was his father, I thought for sure he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, but he wasn't, was he? He was not. Oh my God, there. they're gonna become best friends. <laughs> My wife's in New York, and I got a Lion King residual check burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> On the bright side, every six-year-old there was jealous of my tiara. <laughs> I call it this day lie. successful. Oh, Let me ask you a question. When did you guys start feeling grown up? Because I'm not sure I do. Honestly, I thought when I got married I would, but I still kind of feel like I'm pretending. It doesn't help that most of my clothes come from Gap Kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm an adult. 
and the other day I saw an old man slip and fall down, and I laughed. Like, like, out loud. <laughs> if he was conscious, he would have heard me. Gosh. I know. One of the tennis balls came off his walker and bounced right off his head. I almost wet myself. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. <clears throat> <laughs> Imagine trying to feel like a grown-up when you've never even been with a man. Okay, sex is not what makes you a grown-up. Or you'd be the oldest one here. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that how you talk to your mother? <laughs> what if we do get caught? Who cares? We get banned from Comic-Con. I'll maybe slap with a fine. Oh, no, I'll be on Astronaut and a bad boy. How will women keep their pants on? <laughs> uh, maybe it'll come up when I apply for citizenship. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, crap. What if it comes up when I play for citizenship? Yeah, that's a risky one. Like... You guys are such babies. I'll handle this. Everything's not home, I'll go away. <laughs> Pretend that no one's home. I thought you were a badass. I lied about the Pepto. I always used a little cup. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. Is it I bet true it's the best as a child, day in Sheldon's stutterer. life. And is it true they used scuba gear to create the sound of Darth Vader breathing? They sure did. <laughs> is it true that you were pre It's like an college, interview. And, you and Sheldon right? loves it. <laughs> Jane, I could listen to your stories all night. <laughs> I mean, really, what's so great about being grown up? Well, for starters, we'd be splitting this check three ways. <laughs> Serious, who wants to do all that stuff? Have insurance, pay mortgages, leave one of those little notes when you hit a parked car. I told you it was Penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it wasn't me. Anyone could have knocked your mirror off or whatever happened. Oh, no. And we spent the whole night trying to be mature and it was kind of boring. I'm sure they're having more fun than we are. <laughs> They're fine. Exactly you need Penny to kick these guys out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, Los Angeles. I'm on a Ferris wheel with Darth Vader. And he's nicer than you think. <laughs> Jealous. Uh, Sheldon, this is the perfect end to a perfect night. Yeah, but I think it could have ended with the karaoke. <laughs> what were you trying to ask me at the strip club? Oh, right. Well, my friends and I couldn't get into Comic-Con this year, and I was trying to start my own convention, and I was going to ask if you would be a panelist. Aww. Why don't you and your friends come to Comic-Con with me? Go free! Right across the border from my favorite city on Earth, Tijuana, <laughs> where I'm taking you every night. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you stuck ay, with ay, him ay, forever. Ay, but at least you get to go to Comic-Con, right? This is on Marlon Brando's shoulders. <laughs> Remember, you do not have permission to be Sheldon's in the pool. Sheldon's gone. Hey, Sheldon, wake up. And I go under the water, and Marlon goes under the water, and the water raises about two feet and sloshes it all over a patio, and the girls freak out. Oh, yeah, like Sheldon hell, is so lost. Like <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Who's Angie Dickinson? <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Well, guys, it was amazing. I enjoyed this episode so much. So the first one was about Penny quitting her job, talking about the previous episodes that Penny proposed. So yeah, she confirmed, you know, she was a mess and it was right from Leonard to just, you know, leave it and don't say yes or no for proposal. And yeah, so she decided to go 100% into acting. So she quit her job. And you know, I kind and, uh, agree and disagree with this so I agree that you know have to give a hundred percent to you know to your dreams like if you want to be an actress anything else literally but you give hundred percent but 
me personally i would always have like a backup so i would stay at work if i want to perceive my dreams you know because i would be scared but at the same time what leonard said if you willing to risk it you know give it a shot to become an act actress to you know give 100 percent to it i would be scared to do that it doesn't mean that you don't have to do that so yeah it's like both ways it sounds right if you know what i mean and yeah the second episode when the guys tried to get tickets to comic-con <laughs> it's so funny that sheldon like got into their brains and like oh my god he actually was right but yeah and at the end it's just so funny that sheldon just got them free tickets basically i hope they went to comic-con with this guy he's hilarious i loved loved this episode 10 out of 10 so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel channel and share with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video bye guys